So we're like, you know what? That might be a good idea. Have somebody in here get him away from us because he keeps getting in our vet. The six before were test trials, if you will. No, get, get, get. What's up guys? Today we're doing something really cool. We are doing some room arrangements around here, okay? This is, was, is currently Elena's room and we're about to switch it up, do a switcheroo one, two, right Laney? We've already started and I didn't think to grab the camera, but now we're doing it. First, you see this wall right here? We're knocking it out. We're taking down this wall. We're gonna extend the house by a few bedrooms. That's a lie. Well, okay, that's not entirely true. The wall is gonna stay. We're actually going to just bring Israel's bed in here, his crib. This is gonna be Israel's room. And we took Elena's bed out that was in here, and we're bringing another single bed, twin bed, into this room that will fit a little bit better, not so bulky, but still looks nice. And Elena's gonna share a room with Israel. She decided she wanted to sleep with her little brother. So we're like, you know what? That might be a good idea. Have somebody in here get him away from us because he keeps getting in our bed. He just keeps ending up in our bed. So we're like, let's bring the crib in here and we're gonna have old Zray boy sleeping with his big sis. You excited? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to sleep with Israel? Well, it's not really I want to sleep with Israel, but I'd rather sleep with him than upstairs because he gets messy up there fast. You don't think you are the one that makes it messy up there fast? Of course not. It's not you, it's them. I agree. But anyways, so we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna set it all up and um, we'll show you what we do. Excuse me, nothing is exciting about sleeping. Oh, it's exciting. You're doing a great job, Lainey. I wanna get some shelves so Ray can't get into my any of my stuff because all these beads on the ground. So I, um, had my bead kit and then he put some in his mouth and I said spit it out and then he dumped the whole thing. Oh my gosh. I was wondering where this mess came from. It's like surely Elena didn't throw her beads that she just got on the ground. Does anybody else do this? When we moved from the last house we took a little Ziploc bag and taped it to the furniture so we didn't lose the pieces. Isn't that so smart? I didn't think about that. I think Danielle started doing that and I was like, that's a really good idea because we always lose, in the past, have lost pieces to furniture when we're moving or when we just take it down and set something else up and then we want to set it back up again. We're like, where are the pieces? Where's the whole hardware kit? Can't find it. Boom! Crazy. All right, I did this this way. Maybe that's not the best. I don't really know how you would arrange this. Where to put that? I bet the dresser could actually go like right there. That might be nice. And then it's not there, but I'll let Danielle decide that. That'd probably be the best place to go, actually. What do y'all think? You think leave it like this? Let's see, you got the bed, the bed, crib, dresser or just do bed crib and then dresser or right here in this section of fit really fine right there. And the crib could even go long ways if you wanted to. Like bedside table or something here. I don't know, we'll figure it out once we need to. But for now, I'm leaving it like this. And now they have a room. So if you guys have been wondering why we haven't been vlogging as much lately, um, I know we've been asked that. Where are your videos? I haven't seen your videos. Where's your videos at? We haven't seen your videos. No. It's because of things named Israel. This is why. Sometimes life is just, feels impossible. And uh, it's just because of this guy. Because some people might be like, well you got seven kids. I mean, that's a lot. You kind of asked for it. And I say. Even if we just had one Israel, just the one, it would be the same, maybe worse actually. We'd be worse because it would be our only child and we have, would have never parented anything like this kind of creature before. We, we've at least had some test runs. The six before were test uh, trials, if you will, to prepare us for this. And it still wasn't enough. We still weren't prepared. Papa. 
Baba. He's saying perfect bar. He eats them any given moment, and we do not want him to, but he finds them, and he climbs in the fridge, and he steals them, and then he does this, so. Don't worry, we don't just let him do it. I'm only letting him right now because I'm recording a video. Typically, I would have been over here snatching away from him. He'd be screaming, throwing temper tantrum, the whole thing. He's not even two. When's your birthday? <laughs> what? When's your birthday? <laughs> Say August. Hey, listen to this. Say, tomorrow. Wow. I love you. Daddy. Tomorrow. Daddy. Tomorrow. Mommy. Say tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love you. More. Say I, I know more. Say I love you. I <laughs> He likes singing that song. Um, speaking of that song, have you been enjoying the covers that I've been releasing? Have you seen the covers I've been releasing? A lot of people didn't know I do music and I thought I had said it enough on here. Apparently I have not. I make music and I haven't in a couple years. It's been almost a couple years since I've released my last song, but I will have you know I've been working really, really hard on new music, not just the covers original new music and I have a song actually right now being mixed and so and then it'll go be mastered and then I'll be able to release it so be expecting a new song in the next probably month and a half oh yeah I need to get him out of the fridge huh I get distracted sometimes talking to you guys as far as my music goes go to Jonathan Murray music that's my music page I will put up it in the like description I'll tag it or something you can go click it and, and follow it um, that's where I'll be releasing everything and that's where I release all my covers I share it to the R. Murray's pages But I'm trying to just grow my audience over there so that I'm not bombarding everything on our main page But I guess I shouldn't care right should I post more music stuff on my main our main page you tell me I'd like to hear anyways if you want to go follow though go do that I will tag my page in the description so you can do that Okay, so Danielle's been working upstairs. This is like her favorite go-to drink right now. Again, here's another thing. Buddy, can you stop getting into stuff for two seconds? Two seconds, don't get into something. Please, Israel, please. <laughs> this is like her favorite go-to drink, so I'm making this and bringing this up for her because I love her. I love that game. I made you this because I need been working so hard up here. I told him it's your favorite beverage. What is it? It's revitalized with aloe vera. I, I don't know if you do you normally put aloe vera in it. I do. No, it's good though. I've been mixing it with liquid IV, but oh. this is really good. And perfect timing because Israel just spit all in my cup. There was an orange in it. You know, I had an orange in it. Uh huh. I thought it'd be nice to just add a little drooled. And then stuck his hand in there to get that orange and just nice. And I was so it's like, just "Well, of I'm done. Goodness. <laughs> I'm not drinking that anymore." But this is my fave. Revitalize is full of minerals, which it took me seven babies to learn that you actually lose four pounds of minerals in each pregnancy. And so I had seven kids without replenishing my <laughs> mineral stores, and I felt like The Walking Dead. Anyway, so I learned about minerals the same time. Around the same time, we started getting stuff from Modair, and they have something called Revitalize. It has a whole bunch of trace minerals in it, and then she legit Google that. Your mind will be blown. All the benefits are amazing. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I literally crave it. And if I miss a few days, it was out of stock for a while, I feel it. So, cheers. Anyway, I'll link it in the description if you guys want um, $10 off to try it. It's delicious. Tastes kind of like fruit punchy Kool Aid y, but it's like go to, especially in the summer. Super refreshing. The minerals will keep you keeping up with your kids and, or whatever, just life. 
stress depletes minerals, not a great diet depletes minerals, microwaves deplete minerals, basically everything we do. <laughs> Just life, living your life, get minerals, the end. And now I gotta finish up here because it's literally dinner time and you have to go pick up food, groceries. Yeah. And then we have to make dinner and I still need to finish um, clothes, books, making their beds. I lost all my help. Who was your help? <laughs> I don't even know. Tyler was up here, Jude was up here. Everly was up here. I'm up here. All right, check this out. This is super cool. Danielle bought these things for the girl's window up here that makes beautiful rainbows on the floor and on the walls and wherever the sun's shining. Boom. So cool. Oh, goodness. What happened? Um, Canyon got out and I tried to bring him in and then he scratched and then he wouldn't come in and he hurt me and then while I was trying to get him in and he hurt me, Laurel jumped, got through. Laurel. Good boy, Chase. You gotta go back in. Oh, dang it! No, Dad, don't take out! Stop taking! Stop taking! Then chase her back down. Will she run into the fence if I... Open it. Sure about me? Sure. No other. She's I down. will. Tracy, help me out here, boy. Chase, get her. Good boy. Good boy. No, no. No, no. All right. Finally got her back in. Oh, did you get it? Thank you. Thanks for getting hay. Tyler got hay for the... The fence is on. The fence is on. Okay, good. Yeah, Chase we had a little fun. A sort of good job. He would. He almost did. He thought we were going to put him in the fence. He Chase almost, did. Chase almost started doing a little bit of shepherding. Good boy, Chase. His shepherd started to come out in him. And he pushed her back. That was good, except then he ran away to go lay on the porch because he thought, I didn't put me in that fence. Daddy. Chase, you almost did it. Daddy. Bro, you almost did it. You almost did it. You almost did it. You need to stop putting my mind. Would you believe that we just power washed this front porch? No, I don't think so. Like, I mean, basically, I mean, it's better than this because this has been walked on too. But just the other day, and now look at this, these kids drive me nuts. Welcome. Yeah, you are one of them. <laughs> Yummy, what are we eating for dinner? It's not a taco. It's what? It's not a taco. It's not a taco. Not a taco. Look at this girl. How'd you get mud all over your face? Whenever Israel ran out and escaped, um, they were digging in the dirt. Uh, digging in the dirt. We're moving the earth, moving the earth. It's hard work, hard work, hard work. Grilled cheese flatbreads. Smart. 